So this new Sony LinkBots, a shocking and surprising design, weird, innovative, awesome. Sony LinkBots are so cool. All right, guess I'll have to buy them. That hurts. First things first. This should work. And maybe this one. So it's uh, it's uh, complicated. And thankfully I got a longer chain as well. I guess I would go with the white ones if you plan to wear them. I mean, this is kind of okay, but no one sees that it's 100 bucks hanging here. Come on, this is a nerdy thing. I just hope I'm the first one who came up with this because otherwise I'm just wasting your time. I'm not wasting your time. This is not a waste of time. The first thing you should be aware of is the size of this part of the butt. This is the part that goes into your ear canal. The deeper it goes, the better for the sound quality. This rubber part comes in different sizes. But that doesn't solve the main problem. Not every ear is the same, so this part, in your case, might not get as deep as it should. And that affects the sound quality. Let's take an AirPod Pro. There's a relatively small hole here, and through this hole, the music goes into your canal. In a Sony Link but this hole is for something else for letting in the outside noise. This is basically a transparency mode in the AirPods Pro minus the tech, because the tech here is the hole. I think the AirPods Pro transparency mode is a really good one. It sounds very natural, unlike transparency modes in other earbuds that tend to amp up the noise volume unnaturally. Let's say you're in the waiting room waiting for the doctor's appointment, so you have to be alert, and you sit next to a person that breathes normally, and you turn on the transparency mode in a cheap pair of earbuds, and all of a sudden you feel like you're sitting next to Skywalker's father. But the AirPods Pro transparency mode is really natural. If a hole in a bud is 100% natural, I would give the AirPods Pro 95%. But in general, the transparency mode... What it is it good for? Absolutely nothing! I wouldn't go that far. It lets you watch TV and listen to your favorite music at the same time. It lets you talk to someone and listen to your favorite music at the same time. No, these are off. Lousy jokes apart. You shouldn't be riding a bike in the streets with earbuds streaming loud music into your ear canals. But people still do it and you can find those people or make them aware of shocks. Previously known as aftershocks, the bone conduction headphones. But bone conduction, if you tried it, you know this. If not, you'll have to believe a YouTuber. Bone conduction doesn't deliver great sound quality. Basically, your ears are better suited for listening to music than your bones. If you're not deaf Beethoven, who probably discovered bone conduction, he placed one end of a wooden stick onto his piano and clenched the other end with his teeth. But that was his only option. So sharks leave your ears open to the traffic noise. Bose's frames do the same. And these are, in my opinion, the best sounding sunglasses. But what if you didn't want the sunglasses? Then you can use the transparency mode or Sony's link buds. Do you hear more through the hole comparing to the AirPod transparency mode? No. And the sound quality depends on your ears. It might be really great for open earbuds, but if they don't fit your ears right, it might be too quiet and just not good enough. One option, three options. Transparency mode, noise cancelling and off. Like regular bots. So these should be one third of the price of these. And this would make sense because you could get two nice necklaces that wouldn't cost you much. But unfortunately, it seems that nice necklaces are still kind of expensive. Thanks for today, you jewelry lovers, and hope to see you soon.